hey my lovelies welcome back to another video if you are new here thank you guys so much for tuning in and obviously by the title you guys already know this video is going to be a diy video and yeah let's just get right into it so for this diy i'm going to be using a skirt i got this from the thrift store a long time ago and um I, it's just been sitting around because it didn't really fit me the way i liked it but i really love the wash of it so yeah you can use whatever type of thing you want to diy it doesn't have to be a skirt um you're going to need some scissors to do some cutting distressing you already know then you're going to need an exacto knife to do some more distressing with you're also going to need a hot glue gun and some glue sticks um you can use a sewing machine if you have it um i just don't and i'm using some safety pins just to add a little bit of detail to it and also some fabric that I just cut off from a shirt that I didn't want anymore. All right, so the first thing that I'm doing is flipping my fabric over to the opposite side so that I can go ahead and draw my design. Um, you can draw whatever type of design you want. I was going for like an edgy, like rock star type of look or whatever. So I did a star and it's pretty easy and you know, it's, 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 just, it's just easy. So yeah. After I drew them out and was happy with the way they looked, I cut them out and placed them on the skirt where I wanted them to be. Like, take your time and make sure you got them where you want them to be before you actually take the glue gun and glue them down. And whenever you're satisfied with the way it's looking, you can go ahead and take your glue gun or, you know, E6000 would have been perfect for this. Um, you can sew it if you want to sew it. I didn't have a sewing machine and I don't like hand sewing. It just takes too long. So <laughs> this works fine for me. Then I'm just going to go ahead and take my X-Acto knife and like drag it across the skirt like to cut it, like distress it. And you're going to see me like dragging it really fast across mind you guys this video is sped up the whole time so i'm not really doing it this fast please 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 be careful this is like really dangerous if you are not over 18 um make sure you have a parent with you doing this or have them do it for you please it's not it's not worth cutting your fucking finger off excuse me for cussing at y'all but like yeah it's, it's just make sure you got a parent with you to do this part if you're young going back and forth between the exacto knife and my scissors to like create bigger holes and distress it um once you're happy with all that i'm just flipping my skirt inside out so that i can mark out my cutout and it is so funny like looking back at this video i'm thinking of so many different things i could have done like instead of doing a square shape i could have did like a star shape and that would have been so cute i really might go back and do that let me know what y'all think if i should go back and like make a star cut out in the skirt i think that would be so so cute like what was i thinking so now that we have our cut out all done we're gonna go in and add our fabric now I'm sure y'all are so sick and tired of hearing about quarantine, 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 this, quarantine, that. But like, this is the perfect, perfect quarantine activity for y'all to do. Like, everybody has a jean skirt. Everybody has a black shirt that they don't really care about that you can just take and elevate into something new. Tell me this skirt ain't popping, y'all. Tell me this skirt ain't like super, super cute like what and i did not add the safety pins in this video i was so tired after this i went back and added it the next day so y'all are going to see it in the end all right now moving right along we're going to take a regular black shirt that i already cut in half straight up the middle you're going to need some scissors obviously you're also going to need some safety pins and i'm just cutting the shirt straight across the middle to make it like a crop top or whatever because you know we need things short and sweet then you're just going to take your scissors and basically just scrunch up the shirt and like just go ahead and just cut it all up make some little holes
So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and reattach the shirt using the safety pins. And this just adds the coolest little detail to a basic shirt. It just really takes it to the next level. Like this shirt is so fucking cute. And this is the inspiration that I saw on Pinterest for this shirt. Um, I was just looking for a cute little easy DIYs to remake. And I was scrolling through the pictures and I saw that this uh, shirt was actually a Balmain shirt. So really this is a designer inspired video. Like come on now like you making a ball main shirt for like zero money like i'm pretty sure everybody has safety pins and if you don't i got these from family dollar for like a dollar i think so yeah and be careful not to like drop your fucking safety pins all over the floor But yeah, as you can see, I'm just going to reattach the shirt together like the picture. It's not exactly like the picture and I did this on purpose. Of course, like it's inspired by it, but it's not like exactly copying the shirt. Or it's really easy. You can't mess this up. It's going to be cute regardless, like pop and period. This shirt was so fun to make. It really just like got me in my zone. Um, for the back, I just cut it up just to make it like something on the back. I didn't do too much. I was just trying to get it done or whatever. And this is how it came out. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about this whole fit. Um, as you can see, I added the safety pins to the skirt and it just adds the coolest little detail. Like, I'm so happy with it. I love it. And yes, that is the end of this video, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed creating it, and I can't wait to create more for you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Trini Love. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to your girl, whatever. I will see you lovelies in the next video. Bye.